Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, water comes down a pipe, activates this valve, sends a pressure wave into the pressure tank, and water is pushed uphill. So normally in a ram pump, you have a pressure tank. This PVC cylinder is going to accumulate water in here and build pressure up here in the top. And it cushions the water hammer as it's pushed into this tank. So in this video, I'm gonna be testing out this Hydra resistor. It's a water hammer uh, resistor. Basically when the water hammer hits this, it will push a spring up and then back down. So my subscriber and fellow YouTuber, Workbench Z, sent this over to me. I'll have a link to his channel in the description down below. So I'm gonna be doing two tests here. The first one is a normal ram pump test with the tank here, and we will get a flow at the top over about a one minute time span. And then I will replace this pressure tank with the Hydra resistor and get that same test to see if there's much of a difference between this and this. So this is just simply a cylinder um, of air, and this one has that pressurized spring in it. So we'll see how these two different uh, pressure tanks compare. Let me walk you through the basic setup here. I have a bucket that is representing my creek water. You can see right here. So it's got a float valve on it to keep the level at a consistent height. I can turn on my drive pipe, which will allow water to go down here to the half inch ram pump. So you can see here is the pump. It's got a half inch drive pipe, half inch pump, and then the delivery pipe going up the hill is just garden hose. And it's going all the way up to my porch right there. So you can see it's quite a lift, but it should be uh, just fine for this test. So what I need to do to get this started is purge the air out of the drive pipe. And I do that by holding open the waste valve. I might get a stick here because that's gonna spray me. I'm gonna purge the air out of the drive pipe by holding it valve open. Okay, that seems pretty good. Now I've got the delivery pipe partially filled with water, but to start this, you just press this a number of times until enough pressure is built up in the pressure tank. There we go. Now when I open this valve over here, the pump is likely to stop because there's not enough back pressure. And it did. So what I have to do is manually press this until I have enough weight of water in the line going up the hill. Could take a little while, so I'll bring you back in a moment when this is running at full. There comes a point where the valve begins to get easier and easier to press down until it begins cycling on its own. As you can see, as long as it's got water, it will continue to do that and it will push water further and further uphill. All right, I'm gonna wait for this to reach the top and we will begin our test. The output of the ram pump has now reached the top. You can see the flow rate here. It's a pretty good flow up here from the half inch ram pump. So you can see the ram pump is off the hill, way down there, lifting up somewhere around 25 to 30 feet height up to this point. So the plan is to use this measuring cup and time for one minute to see how much water fills that in that amount of time. I have my measuring cup and my stopwatch, so let's time this for one minute to see how the normal pressure tank fills this container. There we go, one minute. So in one minute's time, looks like we have right at uh, 775 milliliters on the uh, measuring cup here. So I'm gonna measure both uh, sets of the test here at this spot so we can have some consistency. Now that we have the numbers on that test, I've already drained some of the water out of this tank so it's not gonna splash us. Let's remove this pressure tank from the system. There we go. I also need to remove that pipe razor. All right, let's see what we're working with here. This is the Hydra Rester, the Sioux Chief uh, 1010 
and it's uh, let's see rated at 350 psi 24 bar max working temperature is uh, 250 degrees so this can be used on either cold or hot water all right so it is a three quarter inch thread and i've got that uh, reducing down to a half inch and so let's put some uh, teflon tape on the end of this and then i'll put it on the pump and we'll see if this is going to work it may be that this test uh, just doesn't work at all we'll have to see So in case you did not know, I have four different sizes of RAM pump available at landahouse.com, Amazon, and eBay. Links in the description down below. All right. Now it is worth noting that the RAM pump will work without a pressure tank altogether, but the water hammer is uh, very strong and shakes things up. And uh, I think it will actually break the pump apart after a while. So the pressure tank kind of smooths out that uh, water hammer and so we're going to see if adding this arrester will do the same thing as a pressure tank okay first thing i'm going to do is open this back up it's going to push water from the delivery pipe back into this system and so hopefully we're good to go and it will start cycling immediately once i open this yep there we go so the pump is working with this arrester on here and it doesn't seem to be hitting hard. So hopefully what this is doing with every cycle, it's jumping up and down a little bit and sending water up the hill. This is the output with the water hammer arrester. Let's go ahead and time the same minute and see what we have here. Ready, set, go. All right, there we go. The results are in for the difference between a normal pressure tank and a water hammer arrester. If you've enjoyed the video so far, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, be sure to do that now and turn on that notification bell. I post typically two videos a week and they're oftentimes solar hydro or ram pumps. All right, let's check out these results. So let's zoom in here so you can see what's going on. It looks like we're at 750 milliliters, which was approximately 25 milliliters less than the previous test. So it's so close, I would say it's about the same, but this seems to have just a little bit less output than the other. Okay, there we go. Now we know that it is possible to operate a ram pump with one of these um, water hammer arresters, but it's just as effective to use a normal pressure tank on the system. Now, this may have the spring-loaded uh, resistor in there that would keep it from getting waterlogged over time. I'm not sure. I'd have to use one of these for a longer period of time. With a normal pressure tank, after about three months or so, the water will um, dissolve the air in here and just become waterlogged. And then you have to uh, stop the pump, drain the tank, and then run it again for another three months or so. Uh, like I said before, this resistor or arrester came from Workbench Z, and I have a link to his channel down below. He's been super kind in giving lots of stuff to me to test out here on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm Seth with Landa House. I have four different sizes of RAM pump available in the links down below as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.